black elderberry could be one of the most powerful medicines in your medicine cabinet. So let's get started with what it is and what it can do for you, especially during cold and flu season. And in my next video, I plan to do one on how elderberry can help with autoimmune disease. So stay tuned for that one as well, and don't forget to subscribe. So here from ethnoherbalist.com, and I will be leaving all of the links in the description for you to check out later if you want to review the studies. Well, black elderberry, so what is it? It's a small shrubby tree that is native to most of Europe. There are many types of elderberry tree, however, Sambucus nigra is the species used historically as a medicinal plant. For centuries, the fruits from this tree were eaten by early settlers in Europe and North America. They prepared a primitive black elderberry syrup and used it as a remedy for fevers associated with colds and the flu virus. So let's go over to the science of eating. Scientists verify that Elderberry beats the flu, prevents colds, and strengthens immunity. Let's scroll down and check it out. Hippocrates referred to the elder tree as his medicine chest. Come down here, you can actually see the clinical studies. A 2011 study published in the Biomed Central BMC demonstrated that black elderberry inhibits the replication of both influenza A and B viruses, as well as three gram-positive bacteria and one gram-negative bacteria, which cause upper respiratory infections. Researchers at the Department of Virology at a Hebrew University, Hadassah Medical School, concluded that the berries are very efficacious as a flu treatment. Symptoms were relieved on an average four days earlier and use of rescue medication was significantly less in those receiving elderberry extract compared with the placebo. Elderberry extract seems to offer safe and cost-effective treatment for influenza. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot more information for you here to check out as well. Let's go ahead and head over to Ethno Herbalist. Let's get down to some more of the benefits for cold and flu. A group of Australian plant scientists tested whether taking an elderberry supplement before international air travel could help keep people healthy. The results are intriguing. The data showed that travelers who took elderberry capsules experienced a significant reduction in the intensity of cold symptoms. They also found that travels who used elderberry had cold symptoms for fewer days than those who took a placebo control. So let's take a look at what it does for the immune system. Published reports describe how elderberry can strengthen our immune system via enhanced cytokine production, delivering antioxidant flavonoids, and viral suppression. Elderberries regulate cytokine in our immune system. They're a great source of antioxidants and displays antivirus activity. There are some interesting yet very early stage experiments that suggest chemical compounds from black elderberry can block infection by directly inhibiting viral action. Laboratory and animal hemagglutination studies demonstrate that extract from Sambucus nigra can inhibit both the influenza virus A and B and the herpes simplex virus 143. The authors speculate that the elderberry extract can somehow stain and coat the exterior of a virus, rendering the virus non-functional. However, it is important to note that these virus inhibition results have not been repeated in animal models and further work is necessary. So there's definitely some great info to be found there. And one last one that I would like to check out here is over at Organic Facts, unbiased information on health. They tell you a little bit again about what elderberries are, some of their nutritional value. It's pretty packed with some good stuff. And it has lots of good antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. So it helps aid in digestion. It helps improve heart health. It even says right here that high fiber levels in el elderberry helps eliminate excess cholesterol from the system and make room for HDL, high density lipoproteins, the good cholesterol that the body needs. It also helps improve respiratory health, boost immunity, 
Elderberry syrup has certain antibacterial and anti-infectious qualities and is very commonly used to ward off influenza during bad seasons where it seems like everyone is catching it. And as well as diabetes and improving bone health, apparently with the diabetes, it works directly on the pancreas to regulate insulin and glucose levels. So that's pretty cool. Got down here a little bit of an improvement with skin care. May help in weight loss. And it looks like there could be a few side effects, primarily looking at uh, allergies. And it can be, it looks slightly like a diuretic. Now, I haven't necessarily experienced this too much, but uh, people are different and that could be potentially an issue. Now, the other warning that it is telling us about that not all of the Sambucus is the same. So you wanna get it from a reputable source. And if you actually check out my previous video, I did leave two pretty good brands available for you to check out and uh, feel free to take a look and don't forget to subscribe as well. That kind of sums it up for what I've got going on there. Next video, we're gonna be talking about cytokines and autoimmune disease. We're gonna be looking about the uh, cytokines and the inflammation and how they can influence depression and various medical diseases. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the cytokine switch and we're gonna be looking at a few other articles on immunomodulating plants and a little bit more about autoimmune disease and uh, what you can potentially do about it. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Please feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have other plants or other ideas you'd like to maybe hear a video about. Uh, feel free to let me know because I am interested in making new videos on a regular basis. So I do appreciate it. I love your guys' support and comments and leaving a thumbs up always helps too. So I really appreciate that and uh, stay tuned feel free to share this with your friends and uh, we'll get a new one out here pretty soon thanks again for watching have an awesome day and stay well